and today I will be discussing a fact that I have been cautioning about. The Godzilla vs. Kong trailer. Now, starting off. Mm. I liked the 2014 Godzilla. I liked Godzilla King of the Monsters. So I've been a fan of all the MonsterVerse movies, even the ones that don't have such great things about them, like this one needs more Godzilla, this one needs better characters, this one also needs better characters. I've at least enjoyed semi-factors of all these movies. I don't really think any of the movies are particularly great, but I still enjoy them for what they are. I've actually been really excited for Godzilla vs. Kong, because no matter how, How terrible the 1962 Godzilla vs. Kong is, King Kong vs. Godzilla is. It's really entertaining, and I think it should definitely need a reboot. And I actually didn't enjoy this movie. The first half, I don't really care about. The second half, I really like. I've been kind of confused of how we, the public, have not got any marketing at all for Godzilla vs. Kong. I think the only really thing we've really seen is just that same poster of like Godzilla and Kong, like Godzilla rolling out and Godzilla like ready to punch him, and you see that Kong, King Kong, Kong Kong, that King Kong has got a really big beard. <laughs> um, so you see that, that's really it. You don't see any set photos, you don't really see any pictures. We haven't got a single trailer yet. There's been fan-made trailers, but definitely not an official trailer. Do I think this is something that we need to worry about exactly? No. Necessarily, no. Because I really think it just comes down to one fact. That is, that, you know how Godzilla versus, this is, never mind. Okay, one second. Let me, let me lay out the platform. Godzilla did really well at the box office. Kong Skull Island. Box office. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Not really well at the box office. Do you know why? This movie had semi marketing, so not many people knew what it was about, and it made them more intrigued. This movie had its trailer a little bit before, but it still didn't have as much marketing as another movie that we'll get to. We still had people in state to go see it, see it in the cinema. This movie had marketing like you had never believed for a straight year. I mean, ads were coming out of this movie like crazy, like crazy, like a, like a couple every month. It was crazy. And by the time the movie actually got to the release, people just didn't really care. And though we have not gotten the trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong, and we're like four months away from that movie, this movie had a trailer in December, which was a couple months away from the release, I think like six months. But this is a bit more tight of a release. So I really think it is Warner Brothers calming it down. Maybe they were really excited to get all those monsters in King of the Monsters. You got Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, King of Dora. You can have a lot of, a, of like excitement for this. And they just threw out a ton of marketing. People watered down when they came, besides me, I really liked the marketing, and so I wanted to go see the movie. I paid all the money. I, I, I wanted to go see it. But I think, really, it is just one of those is calming down to have people to get a bit more intrigued, and then, boom, bust out of the scene with the first trailer. People blow up and just go, oh my god, if the trailer's good, because the trailer could be actually god-awful. Um, and then maybe have another trailer like two months before the film's release. And then they have it like, oh, it's only two months away, it's coming, it's coming. And then, boom, you have a ton of people with a ton of excitement go to the theater, and then, boom, you get a lot of box office money. And then you can probably carry on the MonsterVerse. Now, possibly, I don't really know where there's much to go after Godzilla vs. Kong, because I don't really know if they can make any more sub like lines 
whatever. Um, with other monsters, because you guys know uh, King Kong really are the main two hitters, and there's not much after that. You could do maybe an origin story, but not much after that. So yeah, those are my uh, thoughts on why we are not getting Godzilla vs. Kong. Sir, I genuinely just think it is the marketing that Godzilla vs. King of the Monsters heavily had, but people were watered down when the film came out, which was a year after all that pussy's marketing. Except for then, movies you want to go see it. The movie did very well on home video, though. The, it got a lot of people to go buy it on DVD, Blu-ray, rent it. So, yeah, I think it really is just them calming down, letting people go to excitement, and then, bam, bust out in that first trailer, and then get a good one-two hit in with another trailer, and then, boom, we got more box office money, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. Those are my thoughts. So, yeah, share, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.